Today's demonstration is a brushless DC motor. We've made it using a few neodymium magnets and some magnet wire. Okay, so we have two magnets on a little spinning ball bearing rotor. It's the same kind of rotor used on fidget spinners or skateboard wheels. We've also got an electromagnet, a bunch of wire turned around a steel bolt, and a reed switch. This is a little magnetic sensor that can tell us when a magnet passes by. Ideally, when the magnet passes by the reed switch, it should turn the electromagnet on and give that magnet a little bit of a push. If it does this each time the magnet passes by, we should be able to make it spin. We could show the same idea using a regular magnet to push the rotor around. If you have the north pole of a magnet facing the north pole of those rotor magnets, it'll give it a little push. You can imagine that if we could just push it just enough to get it spinning around, yet yank the magnet away quick enough, we could set this thing spinning around and around. We just need to turn that electromagnet on and off at just the right moment. Let's give it a try. There it goes. So if we uh, disconnect, I am recording slow mo. All right, we're going to shoot it again here in slow motion. Let's see if we can see what's going on a little better. In this view, you can see that a little LED light at the left turns on every time the electromagnet turns on. Each time the magnet passes by the bolt, it bloop, turns on for just a little second. On. And on. And push. Each time it goes by, it gives it a little push. Right, so if I move that that way, the position of the reed switch changes how well the motor performs. What? Moving the reed switch around, we're changing when the electromagnet turns on and off in the cycle. What are we at? It definitely seems to be an optimal, just right position. What are we up to? 90 hertz? Yeah. Oh, that's going down. You can hear it. Yeah. And that's the K and J demonstration of a pretty simple do-it-yourself electric motor. Thanks for watching. It was too small.